Sometimes when you're building shortcuts, you want to have templates or files that the shortcut can call. A lot of times what people do is they have the template download from a server or a file share like Dropbox or Google Drive. But you can actually embed those templates in your shortcut. So you can run the shortcut completely offline, no need to download those templates. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So what we're gonna to need to do is use Base64. Base64 is basically a way of taking files and converting them to binary and then taking that binary and converting it back to files. I'm probably not explaining it very well, but to be completely honest, you don't really need to know the weird details and the technical aspects of how it works. You just need to know how to use it. So let me show you how to do it. So first off, we're going to use the shortcut right here that I have, and I'll include all the shortcuts in the description below, like always. Uh, we're going to use this base64 encoder right here. Um, there's three actions in it. So we're going to use a uh, get file. Uh, then we're going to encode the file with base64, and then we're going to copy the base64 code to the clipboard. So let's go ahead and run this. It's going to pull up uh, the files app right here. Uh, I'm going to just pull, use one of these documents. You can, you can use any file files can access. I'm just going to use one of these files right here. Uh, we'll just use yellow line template. And then it copies this garbage text right here. This is base64. This is that file just in weird binary sort of. Uh, it's not really binary, but it is binary. It's very confusing. I'm not going to go into the test technical aspects of it because to be honest, I don't even fully understand how it works. So we're going to use that right there. So that garbage code is on our clipboard now. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new shortcut now. The first thing we're going to need is we're going to need text. And then we're going to take that text that we copied to our clipboard from the last shortcut and just paste it right here. So there's all that garbage text right there. Basically, it's completely unreadable. Then we're going to get base64 and we're going to use the encode one, even though we're technically going to decode it. So we're going to click on encode right here. I'm going to change it to decode. So we're going to take this text and decode it with base64. So let's go ahead and run this and we get the template right here. I can even add the quick look action. So there you go, right there. So why would you wanna do this? Kind of what I was talking about earlier, you'd wanna embed a template. So let's take a look at a shortcut I've built in the past and I've shown off. So I have this journal one right here. I've showed this in the past and in the past I actually had the template for this download from a server. Now what I can do is I can use base64 to encode it. So let's um, bring files over here. Let's bring files up, new window. Okay, so no folder or anything created for the journal. Basically, so what this shortcut does is it will go through and check to see if this journal template file is there under the journal folder in the shortcuts folder. Nothing's there right then now. So if there is was something, it wouldn't do anything. But since there isn't, it's going to put that folder there and then put that template there and then run this. So let's click on this and see how quickly that ran. We had this file before the folder even showed up in files. So that's pretty awesome. Before it would have had to create the folder, then download it from the server and things like that. Base64 is just faster than downloading it from a server. So even if you have a server that can do file sharing and stuff like that, if you're putting a template inside a shortcut, it's just faster to use Base64. Uh, it's fewer actions. It just, it works really nicely. So I really like that. I really like it a lot. Um, it's just a lot of really cool things you can do with it. Um, of course, you can, once you take the base64 code, you can do things like what I did right here. You can use the set name uh, action to name the file. Uh, before that, I created the folder, uh, renamed it, saved it, did all that stuff right here within the shortcut. That file we saw, that's this file right here, the template file, that's this text right here. So that's why you'd wanna use it. I'll put this shortcut and I'll put the shortcut to encoding the base64 encoder in the description below so you can check those two out um, and you can play around with them. I highly recommend if you're building shortcuts with templates, use base64. It's totally worth it. It'll save you a ton of time and it just makes your shortcut that much faster to run too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.